Greetings fellow programmers, this is Pavel and this is part 4, the conclusion of our object-oriented exercise uh, in creating our customers' classes and uh, doing the calculations. So we are reading from the file, we read from the file, uh, we wrote to the file, we have all the classes. So let's just validate a few data. Uh, the one that we need to do is uh, get the ID because the, the user will enter an ID and we have to verify that the ID actually exists. If you look into our customer file, this is our ID A0001, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So if a customer enters any other ID, that's a wrong ID. It's a non-existing customer. So we have to make sure that we take care of that. So we will do get customer ID and compare it to existing customer IDs. So um, I will do public static integer get uh, ID and I will create a boolean I'll call it the ID OK I'll initialize it to false as if like the user entered the wrong uh, ID and um, I'm gonna need a, a variable uh, I have the entered ID over here that I created before so uh, I'm going to do uh, actually you know what? I don't need it over here I'm just gonna grab this and paste it right here that can be a local variable it really doesn't have to be uh, uh, declared on the top of the class so I will simply create a string entered ID that's uh, what the user enters and I initialize it to empty so now I'm going to make sure that the user entered a valid ID. So I, I'm going to use the do loop and um, in it I will create a variable called customer index which equals zero and you will soon see why. I'll, it's going to be easier to explain once I'm finished coding this. So I'm going to do console dot write. I'm going to do please. This is right, not right line. And that's because I'm going to be appending lines or, or text to this later, as you will see. Please enter user ID. So now we have our entered ID equals the console.read line. Whatever the user entered, that's our uh, entered ID. And now we will do our for each loop for each the uh, uh, variable I'll just call it ID in our array preferred customers array and we will go and check it like if the ID that customer ID equals whatever the was, was entered which is the entered ID so if they are equal then we have a valid customer so we could uh, we could return the customer index because I'm returning the index of the array uh, of the array index for the customer that exists because I want to I want all the information about the customer so I need the index of the customer I need to know where it sits in that array and what position of the array it is now if it is not correct then we will do the customer uh, it's now it's stuck a little customer index plus plus we will increase it and look to the next one the next customer in the array and the next customer in the array and when we run out of them uh, for the for each loop uh, then we'll know uh, if the customer was there or not and if he wasn't then we can display a uh, display a message so um, uh, so remember we are returning the customer index here so when we when the, we actually find an ID that is correct we go we immediately exit the the whole uh, method the whole function with the customer index returning so all I have to do is here if we go if you go past the for each loop all the way here then it means no customer was ever found because we did not exit the function so I can simply do 
console dot uh, write and I will do the uh, I don't know ID does not exist and when I said I'm gonna append it uh, what, this is a write and this is a write too because we come over here please enter user ID if the user ID is wrong we will simply go and say yo we will display this again please enter user ID because the ID does not exist actually it will say the ID does not exist and then we will say also please enter user ID but the first time we come over here we only want to enter please enter user ID because nothing was entered yet but when it was and it was wrong then we will display ID doesn't exist please enter user ID and we come back to the uh, read line for the uh, for the user ID so um, I see the while loop over here uh, it took the ID okay I don't actually even need that because I'm uh, nah no nah, I don't need it uh, I can delete it and instead of ID okay I'm simply while true so in other words it will be displaying all uh, over and over again until I actually exit the loop uh, uh, the whole, f whole function with the return statement over here so um, that's how we validate the uh, the ID so now let's get we have to validate the user choice the user choice if you remember we're gonna display a menu with two uh, uh, two menu items one and two over here so we don't want to use that to enter three or any other really number or any other uh, text because only one and two are valid so we can do a public static string user choice and so uh, let me just comment it a little get user input only option options one and two are accepted so that's that's fairly simple so we will do a variable user choice choice and it equals the console dot read line and what is it reading well it's gonna be reading from the menu uh we, we, i'm gonna create a menu you know what let me create a menu right now so it's easier for you to imagine what is going on so the the menu i will simply go public static void display menu and uh, in it all we do is the console that uh, right uh, right line and one display customer information and console that right line uh, uh, this one will be the item number two and this one will update update customer information this will this one will write the file and over here un under that we will do console dot write uh, I'm gonna do please enter your choice and on the same line we will that's why i'm using right because on the same line there will be a blinking cursor uh, where the user will uh, display one or two so that's what is this is actually reading this is reading the user user choice whatever the user inputs over here this will be displayed first then we will call this method and it will read the user choice now we we need to make sure that the user choice is correct so we will do while user choice is not equal to one it's actually a string and user choice is not equal to two again actually it's a string then we will go and go console dot right line and we will do wrong entry try again and on the then we will display the oh, I got man instead of menu all right so it's, then we will display the menu again uh, after we inform the user that the 
uh, whatever he entered was wrong. And once again, this is a uh, this is a uh, entered, and uh, now we are collecting the user choice again. So uh, I'm just gonna copy it. We need to copy it again. Uh, except it's not a var; it's already declared. If this is correct right away, if the user enters one or two, then this is uh, not even uh, the the loop is uh, skipped, and then we will simply return user choice. However, if the user enters a, a, a wrong value, then we will come over here, tell the user, hey, wrong value entered, we will display the menu, and we will collect a new input. And then once it's correct, we will return the user choice. And I think that might be all. Let's just put it all together into our program, which uh, will be quite short. We will simply do do loop and uh, I'm just gonna loop till true. Um, I'm, I'm not gonna be. Uh, there's only two menu items. Uh, there is no option for quit. We will simply exit the the window. So, uh, but the first thing we need to do get the data. Since uh, remember I created all, everything as uh, static, I can do data operations that get data. This will read the file into a, and create the array. So now I want the uh, I want to get the ID. Uh, remember the custom the the get ID over here. It returns uh, it returns the customer index. All right. So uh, that's the uh, that's the customer that we in whose information we want to display. So I'm gonna create a variable called index or customer index, customer index, and I will pass the result of the the method get ID to it. Get ID. So now I know what customer we have. Uh, if the user chooses to do that, I mean the user may choose to just update the uh, the uh, the file right away. But if the user chooses to uh, display information about any customer, this is the customer index that uh, we will be looking for. And this is the customer that we will be displaying. So now we can uh, display the menu. And now we, we check what the user entered, one or two. We already know when we, when we come over here, we already know that the uh, user entered correct value. He entered one or two. So we don't have to do any checking. Uh, any data validation so we will simply do data operations dot user choice so if it is uh, equal to one then we will display the information about that customer so I will do console dot right line and here this is a uh, where I will call the data operations dot and the array of the customers and what customer am I uh, looking for? That's the one with this index. So it's the cust customer index. And remember, we have the to string method. So I don't have to uh, like do any of the console that right line anymore. Because when you go to our preferred customer, we will simply call the to string method, and it will output all the information right here. So uh, that's if the user chooses. Uh, one from the menu and if it chooses two which is else again we don't have to validate the data we already know it's gonna be one or two so we will do the data operations that update data which is the uh, which is the write method basically it will go and it will check the spend amount and update it and write a new file uh, for us all right, so um, okay, let me see if I can build it and if we can run it. Oh, there's some some problems here. It says uh, inconsistent accessibility is less accessible. So I, it looks like I did not make this one public either. That was the same error we had before. Let me see this one. This one is okay. So. 
that should take care of that let's see if there's anything else oh we got a successful build so let's run it and let's enter a wrong customer id might just enter four which is not a valid id so it says hey it doesn't exist please enter another id so it's a zero 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 three that's one of the ids which should display this one it should display bill clinton in washington dc as our customer and uh, i wonder what he's looking for what to buy all right so we got a valid id so we display the menu so if i press one now it should now display the information and it does about bill clinton so it's his customer id his address his email and he's not on our email list of course so let's enter another customer let's say a customer uh, i don't know a blah 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 that's which is invalid so let's do another invalid and another invalid and it just keeps telling us it doesn't exist so let's do a 00000005 which is the last one over here which is pablo corbin so let's see let's display the information let's do a wrong choice let's wrong choice three wrong entry well so let's try one again and here it is our customer id 005 pablo corbin and all the information from the file so let's do another correct one a 0000001 for example we got the menu now remember the values here for the uh, for the names and mostly for the uh, for the money that was spent so now i'm gonna choose the update customer information and it and it did it it didn't error out or anything so let me close this and um even though you didn't see anything really happening what what actually happened was that over here we have if i refresh it we have a customer info too and if i open that you can see that the values uh customer info original value for the first customer was 2500 but for this one is 2250 that's because the discount was applied of 250 dollars which is 10% from 2,500. Now, for this, the same for the second one. It has the same amount of money, so it should have 2,250. The third one, original file, had 495, which was below the discount amount, so that stayed uh, unchanged. We still have the same 495. That's Bill Clinton, by the way. Didn't spend much. Now, the original one on the fourth, which was Patricia, was uh, 1,200. So if I go... 1200 multiplied by uh what was the discount for that it was uh six percent i believe 0 0.06 minus 1200 so the amount that uh, should be there now is 1128 and it is 1128 and finally the last one 1750 if i do that uh 1750 multiplied by that was 8%, so 0 0.08 minus uh, 750. So we should have 1610, and we do. So it actually wrote the updated data correctly. So well, I have two files. I have the original. I have the customer info too with the updated amounts to it. So um, yeah, this is, the, this is the exercise. This is the assignment. Uh, Pretty decent exercise in, uh, you know, object orientation and manipulation with uh, arrays and files and all that. So uh, hopefully you found it helpful. Uh, and if you did, please leave a like. Uh, of course, leave a comment if you didn't like it. Or you can leave a comment if you liked it as well. Share it with your friends if you think that they could use these videos. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Take care.